What is going on guys? Welcome to another Game Facts with your host KMAC Time. As always, today we're going to talk about one of the greatest games for the original PlayStation. Of course, talking about Crash Bandicoot. Now, Crash Bandicoot was originally supposed to be named Willy the Wombat, but developers really thought this name was too dorky, but and they wanted something with a little more pizzazz. Now, there was a couple other options out there, but they ended up going with Crash Bandicoot. I mean, thank God they did because it's a great name. But uh, the reason why they call him Crash is because of the way he crashes through the boxes. As you'll see, um, he was always crashing through all the boxes, he's crashing through all his enemies. And Crash is just a really cool name. It's really catchy and it goes really good with Bandicoot. So they decided on Crash Bandicoot. Thank God they didn't go with Willy the Wombat because that is terrible. There's also a cartoon out in the late 90s that had a Willy the Wombat character, so they might have gone away from it. Here's some original concept art for Willy the Wombat or Crash Bandicoot. Some cool stuff to look at for sure. Like I said, they had the original character down between three different characters or possible animals between a wombat, a portaroo, and a bandicoot. They really wanted a, a, an unidentifiable animal that, well, that people really didn't think of as an animal that's normal. Something like a Tasmanian devil or a, a hedgehog like Sonic. Something people weren't familiar with that they could make it to this character that they, everyone could know and love. Something like, a, like I said, a Tasmanian devil or a, a Sonic, the hedgehog. But they ended up going with bandicoot, which is a cool animal. I'm not really sure. It might be like an Australian animal. I'm not even sure. But I feel like the developers got this just right. They made the cool character. It was very, very, uh, very fun character. Very cute character for the kids. And ended up coming out with just a great overall character and game. Another lesser known fact is that Tana Bandicoot, which is Crash's girlfriend and the, the person you're trying to save in the original one, was originally cut from the game for being too sexual. She was completely, she was then completely redesigned and put back into the game. However, the development team was so upset with the change they had to make to her character model that they ended up making her a very small part of the game as you see right there she is less sexual that is a very less sexual version than what you've seen originally she was supposed to be modeled off of pamela anderson with you know the blonde hair big tits and she was supposed to be having um short skirts or short jean shorts on and she was showing waist um she was showing her stomach in most of the original uh concept art but it was cut like i said and redone completely redone and the developers actually hated it so much they they cut her out of most of the game and made her a very small part of that game and then she never even returned she's he's hardly in any any more of the sequels or the even the racing games she's hardly even in them in the early stages of development of Crash Bandicoot there was a code name used by the developers at Naughty Dog they actually called this game uh, they actually called it Sonic's ass believe it or not because at the time there had never been a a platforming game that was from this shot from this angle from this behind angle they'd never seen one like this all of the previous games were from a side angle if you think of the marios and the sonics and they named this game or codenamed this game sonic's ass as a kind of a joke because it was like a sonic game a platformer but they were running it from a view of, of sonic's ass they were looking from it from behind it behind angle and it's really cool um it's a really cool kind of kind of funny fact about this game and um, obviously ended up being changed obviously but the, in the early days it was known as sonic's ass all right, and finally, one last fact for you for guys before we get out of here is in the Japanese version of this game that originally came out in December of 1996, the Japanese version was way harder. It actually had boss battles that with increased difficulty, um, increased speed of enemies, increased um, damage taking abilities. It was way, way harder of a game. And they don't, they did this because Naughty Dog at the time thought that the core gaming audience in Japan and in those markets was more of a hardcore audience and it was way more into hardcore platforming gaming than the, that of uh, gamers in North America. So they had went ahead and made this game a lot harder than it actually was in North America. So it's just a really cool kind of fun fact for you guys. But that's all we have time for, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys could leave a like on this video, it would be very much appreciated. And as always, guys, have a great day and game the fuck on, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace out. Thank you.